What's up guys? Today, I'm gonna fucking teach you how to do that. The, the crab scratch. The... And then I'm gonna teach you the wind version of it at the end there. The... So you're gonna wanna get your hand, step one. You're gonna wanna get your thumb, step two. And you're gonna wanna pretty much do trial and error. Move your thumb up and down your finger and put your mouth until you find the whistle noise, you need to keep trying. Cause at first you're not gonna find it. It's gonna sound like this. So what you're gonna wanna do is keep moving your thumb up and down your finger until you find the sweet spot that makes the whistle noise. And then once you get the initial noise, then you, you're still not there yet. Then you have to add different variations of and a lot of people say you have to say like tuka tuka or something like that, but really you can do anything. You could just go, <laughs> you don't have to say any words. You just have to pretty much move your mouth around. I'm not saying anything. You just have to go up and open your mouth a little bit more, close it a little bit more. There's no specific thing you have to do. You just have to get creative at that point. But the main thing is to get that. And then after that, a little bonus add-on how to do that so once you get the whistle noise you're gonna want to vibrate the breathe in and you're gonna want to vibrate your uvula back and forth so act like you're snoring you're just gonna want to vibrate your uvula so keep doing that And then the, to do the mini version or the more higher pitch version, initially you're gonna wanna just do it the standard way like this. But if you're gonna wanna do a higher pitch noise, so the standard is this. The mini version or the high pitch version is this. You just take your middle finger, ring finger and pinky away and you just have this. That's all you really need. So you can switch back and forth. And for mouth positioning, do not overthink it. That should be like 5% of your worries. Your main worry is to get your, the hand positioning perfect and to get the variations down to make it sound awesome. Your mouth positioning is a tiny part of it, but I will mention it because it is important. You can't just have a standard mouth just because it still works as you heard. I didn't move my, I didn't tighten my lips at all, but if you tighten it, you can have more mobility and it will give you more creativity. You're able to switch up and down and go faster if your mouth is more constricted. But if it's loose, then you are kind of limited to just one type of pitch you can't really move around. So that's what I'll say about that. All right, hopefully you guys got some value from this. Peace.